Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a car and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Zero, 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 zero. So, as y'all just seen in the clip earlier, right? The Los Angeles Lakers are on the verge of getting swept twice, second straight year by the Denver Nuggets. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not surprised, right? After looking at, you know, the matchups, the whole lineup the adjustments, coaching. Players outplaying players and players not showing up at all on the Lakers side. This is not surprising. So, in today's video, we're going to dive in with both teams on why both and why the Denver Nuggets are really just toying with the with the left Los Angeles Lakers. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. Um, okay. I'm going to start player by player, play by play, adjustment by adjustment, coaching by coaching. Now, let's start with player. Jokic is doing Jokic things. He's been doing this all year. He's been doing this all his career, right? He's been doing his part. He's been balling. There's no negative to the Jokic game. Nothing. There's nothing. Anything he does, you just can't stop him. He got the post up game. He got the footwork. He got the passing ability. He got the chemistry. He he got everything. He got the charisma. He got everything. He got the, the jumper. He has, he has everything. There's no stopping him. There's no nothing. Nothing you can do with him, right? But let's talk about the rest of the team for Denver, Denver Knights. That's why they are about to sweep. And I, 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 honestly, they probably going to win it all again. This this same. This same. Um Jamal Murray. I mean, when it comes to playoff time, he's a he's an all-star. He's an all-star. There's no there's no way around it. When it comes to playoff time, because regular season, he doesn't really try as hard, in my opinion. When it comes to playoff time, he rises to the cases. He's one of those players that likes the bit moment. He likes the bright lights. It proved in that in game two. Game winner over Anthony Davis at the buzzer. Dropped 22 points. Right? But it was, a, it was a quiet 22 points. But at the same time, like a big factor to 22 points. You know? Big shot after big shot every time. Get to the basket any time you want. Get to the free throw line any time you want. Now, let's talk about Aaron Gordon, who was the star last night, or the, uh, the night before, who was the star in Game 3. So I pointed out in my reaction video, as you know, it's Will Chill Reacts. Go subscribe to that channel. I'm dropping every day, okay? Reactions are all, all about the, all, every almost every playoff game, every day. Um, He was the star last night. You know why? Because the Lakers are where they're fit. They were relying. On defending the perimeter, which led to easy baskets inside for Aaron Gordon, and which he was getting them easily. There was no stopping. So the Denver Nuggets were taking anything the Los Angeles Lakers were giving to them, obviously. And so Aaron Gordon, every time, there's a dunk, 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 layup, dunk, 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 dunk layup. It came before the time where they were trying to defend Aaron Gordon in the paint and then left. Two, three perimeter players open in the in the corner for three. The four men for the Lakers they tried defending the perimeter didn't work because Denver will beat you any kind of way they want. I'm gonna say this right now. 
the Denver Nuggets are this generation's 05 to 2014 San Antonio Spurs. With Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Mano Ginobili, eventually Kawhi Leonard. You can add in Bruce Bowen. I'm talking about when they was when they was on a run. They get they was on they was a dynasty. They couldn't stop them. This team reminds me of the San Antonio Spurs. They don't have any weakness. They have a Hall of Fame bit man, which San Antonio had a Hall of Fame bit man, who was doing the fundamental things. Jokic is literally not at, not flashy at all, but he does the little stuff and he, he's effective and he puts up crazy numbers. They have a point guard who was a star in Tony Parker. Jamal Murray is a star. But it's so many big-time stars in the West that he never makes an all-star team, unfortunately. They had perimeter players, San Antonio did. Bruce Bowen. They had Matt Bonner. Okay? Mount Ginobili to the lesser degree. Um, Denver Nuggets have... KCP. They have Christian Brown. They have MPJ. Like Reggie Jackson. They have no weakness. San Antonio Spurs had an amazing bench. The players I just mentioned coming off the bench doing their part. I think the Denver Nuggets have a, a, a upper hand with MPJ because MPJ in high school, he's looking like the next Kevin Durant. And he's just playing his role in Denver Nuggets. You see how unguardable he was in Game 3? It was good to Aaron Gordon and MPJ Knight. Making step-back jumpers. There's no, there was no stopping that. I'm sorry. I, I actually felt bad for the Lakers in Game 3. I felt bad for them. Game 2 for a lesser degree, but I felt really bad in Game 3. Because I was like, man, honestly, there's nothing the Lakers can do. There was nothing they could do. do. They could try to outscore them, but at the same time, Denver has more size. Did the Lakers. Now, if the Lakers had Dwight Howard, and I'm talking 2020 Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee, 2020 version, this would be a, a lot more entertaining series. This would be a lot more competitive series. Honestly, if they had those two players, maybe Rondo too, coming off the bench, or maybe starting, you need to start over freaking D'Lo. I'm against D'Lo too. This would go seven. This series will go seven, and they had those players. They need, they need the Lakers are lacking size. Rock Lincoln did the best he could about getting the players to surround LeBron and AD, but at the same time, they're lacking size for the Denver Nuggets. The Lakers can really beat any other team in the West, but this team, they're not beating. They would never be unless they get more size, like more bodies, and like Jackson Hayes, Christian Wood. They're trash. They need to be gone. After tomorrow's game, after tonight's day, he didn't need me gone. They're garbage. Okay, they're not doing anything. They need defensive bit bit man and Dwight Howard and Jamel McGill defensive bit man. They can slow down Jokic a little bit and grab more rebounds because AD cannot play center. I'm sorry, not with Jokic. Come on, no. LeBron can do what LeBron does. But he's age at 39, 40 years old. Come on, man. Now. Lakers side. Brian AD, nothing to say about them. Other than AD making the comments about Darmingham, even though he's not wrong, it's just wrong for him to make those comments publicly. Like, you see what happened with Adrian Griffin when, when Giannis made those comments. Now the Lakers are not happy with AD. The chemistry is, like, downhill after that. And now, look, other than that, AD has been amazing this series, okay? LeBron has been great. He's at age of 75. He's still doing his part. Can't ask him for too much. He has nothing else to prove. The rest of the players. Also, Reed stepped up a little bit, but he stepped up in the second half of this game, okay? So I'm not going to get on him too much. I, I like Austin Reed. I still, still think they need to keep him. As for the rest of the players, Rory, terrible series. But I'm looking at this series. He was mostly guarded by MPJ, I believe. And he was switching between MPJ and Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon's gone LeBron. 
but they were switching. And that's again, it's bigger bodies. It's hard for Roy Hachimura to get shots off. So I'm not giving him too much. Before the series, he was being double figures like almost every game. He was going crazy. He was doing his part. As for D'Angelo Russell, you need to be gone after tonight's game. They need to ship you out. Goodbye. How you have? You had a great game too. But down the stretch, you didn't do you didn't do it. You didn't do a goddamn thing. In game three, as a Los Angeles Lakers, you, you understand the banners you see up ahead. You understand the bright lights. You understand the palm trees outside. You understand the great weather. You understand the, the celebrities around the arena. This this superstardom. And you're the point guard of Los Angeles Lakers, and you go 0 for 7, 0 points. If I'm LeBron in the locker room, I'm whooping your, you know what? You won't be able to live the next day if I'm LeBron. If it was MJ? <laughs> oh, baby, that was MJ. Oof. Oof. Yeah, you will wake up with a black eye. Luckily, LeBron's a nice person. You need to be gone. That was pathetic. To say the less, that's that's to a lesser degree. You're definitely part of the problem. Are you the big, biggest problem? No. Is this is a whole collective thing for the Lakers? But you just quit. You quit in Game Three. You, I see the reports that you're gonna be you opt out your option. And you want to become a free agent? Goodbye. We don't want you no more. They don't want you no more. Um, and Darvin Ham. This is the last person I'm going to get into. I actually want to give Darvin Ham a pass. Yeah, I've been critical of Darvin Ham. Yeah, he has made some critical, dumb lineup adjustments. Pick, put in Gabe Vincent in the game where he doesn't, he should be gone. He, he what's, what's the point of getting Gabe Vincent and Spencer there with? There's no point in that. Getting him, they don't even in the lineup, okay? Um, him making some ball headed adjustments, um, defensively, you know, having perimeter defense and leaving Aaron Gore wide open. Yes, he is. May AD mad. But if it was any other team, I feel like the Lakers would beat him. And y'all would be talking about Darnham. But because it's the different nuggets and you can't get, get past the different nuggets, I remember when the Lakers went with Kobe, Paul Gasol, like did, even with Kobe and Shaq, they had a hard time with the San Antonio Spurs. They did. Even Kobe said it himself. All right, rest in peace. He said it himself that San Antonio's first was tough. This is what this team reminds me of. They remind me of the San Antonio's first. So, should Darvin Ham be fired? I mean, who would y'all get? You can't get tired of who? Mark Jackson, he should be, he should have been had a job. So that's the you know, only candidate right now. So I don't know. That's up to y'all call. I mean, Either way, I'm not mad. I I'm not mad y'all keep him, but I'm not mad y'all would fire him too. Um, now, I'm going to say this to cap off the video, y'all. Just, just for a, all the war warning sign for all LeBron fans, good myself, Lakers fans. Don't be surprised LeBron James might retire this year, after this year. It's too much on LeBron right now. Why we, in my opinion, why would he try to come back, knowing that there's no no way they could beat Denver? It's too much on the shoulders. Only way I can see him coming back is to wait until LeBron gets drafted and maybe go go to the Lakers. I still see two years in LeBron, but I think he's gonna come back. But at the same time, I won't be surprised if I hear that. We're going to see what happens, man. That's all I'm going to do for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe channel if you're new. 
Comment down below. What's the biggest issues with the Lakers trying to beat the Denver Nuggets? Without further ado, that's pretty bull. Will and I'm out.